Hi, my name's Jim Harris, and I'm going to be talking about drones today. If you want to email me, it's jim at jimharris.com. I'm on LinkedIn. And if you're tweeting today, it's just at Jim Harris. The price of drones has plummeted dramatically. In 2007, a drone was $100,000. By 2013, it was just $700. And today, it's less than $100 for an entry-level consumer drone. As a result, the sales of drones has skyrocketed. Not only are drones cheaper, they're lighter, easier to use, smaller, faster, longer range, greater accuracy, and more versatile than ever before. And that's really increasing the business applications of drones. Barclays Capital estimates that $100 billion of business value will be created by 2024 by drones in ways that you would not expect. LAPD paid $5.1 million for this helicopter to be able to get an aerial sense of what's going on in the city. By contrast, a small police department in the Midwest can buy a drone, a high-end drone for $1,000 instead of $5.1 million and get the same benefit. Think of the huge deflationary impact that drones are having. Drones are also being used for land surveying and for agricultural applications. You can uh, attach uh, infrared and thermal sensing to a drone and get these three images of your crops. On the far right is the, uh, or sorry, far left is the vegetable density. In the middle here is water deficit. And on the far right is crop stress. So you can identify just what needs watering and just where the problems are with either, say, fungus or pests in your fields. Drones are being used uh, by electric utilities for inspecting high voltage, high tension lines. Think of the safety improvements of people not falling off scaffolding or not getting electrocuted. Lower cost, better inspection, faster inspection. Same for bridges and balconies, lowering construction costs. Insurance companies are using it for deciding with natural disasters whether, for instance, this house is a total write-off with a claims adjuster not having to physically travel there. Hollywood has used drones forever in high-end productions like uh, Game of Thrones. And this you might not expect. We live in cities, more than half of the world's population, and their traffic jams are terrible. To get a human organ for transplant from one hospital to another quickly, hospitals are using drones. McKinsey and Company, the management consulting firm, says that 100% of B2C or business to consumer deliveries will be by autonomous vehicles and drones shortly. Amazon Prime Air did its first delivery in the United Kingdom in 2016. And Amazon has relentlessly focused on speed of delivery and convenience for consumers. So let's look at the value of Amazon compared to eight other retailers added together. That e-commerce makes a huge difference and convenience for consumers. So drones will be increasingly important in that final mile of delivery. In the United Kingdom, in London, Domino's Pizza delivers almost 600,000 pizzas a year, but it takes 25 minutes. Using drones, it's a quarter of the time at half the cost. So drone delivery will be increasing over time. UPS is now licensed for its own drone uh, fleet. Uh, basically, an FAA 18, uh, FAA uh, Part 135 license so it will be delivering more by drone. FedEx is using these devices uh, that open uh, when it wants to give you your package. So not only are drones improving exponentially, these six tech trends are improving exponentially on a price performance basis. GPS, compute power, AI chips, batteries, increased energy density, lighter, cheaper. Digital imaging radically improving, and 5G will give pinpoint accuracy. 
At the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas, I saw this company's AI chips. They're the smallest AI chips in the world, the lightest and the lowest power. So think about them being embedded in an agricultural drone and being using the AI chip to identify what pests are on a crop so you know what to do. If you've enjoyed this, email me, jim at jimharris.com. I'll send you this cover story on AI and autonomous vehicles. My email, jim at jimharris.com. On LinkedIn, uh, you can connect and on uh, Twitter. I'm really enjoying this. Come to the chat room for Q&A for a half hour afterwards.